so, so excited, you guys. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Sorry if I'm squinting, it is just really bright outside, but I need to show you our backyard and a few other house updates. So I'm in my backyard now and the guys are actually gonna be pouring concrete in just a little bit. And I'm so, so excited, you guys. So let me show you what they've done so far and it's gonna change so much in a couple days and I wanted to make sure I capture like where we're at now. So this is the side portion of our backyard. As you guys can see, we're gonna have like a little cement path that goes all the way around. And this is part of our figure eight that is going to be like a little bike path. They've done the retaining wall um, almost all the way done, but it goes all the way back there and they still have like another couple layers to do. You can kind of see where Juan put how tall it will be eventually. So they still have some more work to do there. But over here, it is almost complete. It just needs the top one done. Over in this little corner, we will either put a bush or maybe someday, like we'll have a little L-shaped bench and like a tiny little table or something to enjoy coffee or something like that while we have kids playing in this area on a jungle gym or a swing set or something like that. So over here, I think it was originally planned to be like a sharper turn, but we do want this to be like safe for bikes or bike friendly. So we kind of painted there and then over in that corner, just a, a little bit wider turn so that we can get like even a full adult size bike around this corner. And it is slightly sloped downhill. Uh, we didn't really care so much about having a flat backyard so much as having this be like a nice bike path. So all of this is gonna be cement and we envision having like a, a fire pit or something like this here. And then where our current cement slab is, it's gonna be extended further out. And we hope to have a patio cover extending over the current slab plus whatever comes out here. But over here in this area, it probably won't be covered. Then we're gonna have this awesome area, um, maybe have a tree. We're also gonna have probably a tree where that machine is just to kind of shade the house and shade that play area. But we want to have probably a tree maybe around here uh, closer to me than that red ball. But this will eventually be either real or fake grass, not quite sure. But we got this nice slow slope uphill, which I think will be really fun to coast down for the bikes. And then on this slope, I've mentioned before, I want fruit trees lemon or some type of citrus, maybe apple, avocado, pomegranate, just lots of fun stuff to pick and enjoy. This little turn will be a fun <laughs> little turn for the kids to make on their bikes. And again, let me do the wide angle view. You can see it's gonna be so much fun for the kids to come up here, come around the curve, coast down and either go around that way or the other way on our side backyard. And sorry it is so loud, I'm pretty sure the workers are here. I wasn't actually expecting them to be here today, but I think they are working on preparing our front slab. We are gonna have like a third car slot in our driveway so that we can park, you know, both of our cars with, you know, extra space on the side so that they're not so close together. And then behind me, Juan has some awesome plans. I don't know as to, like when it will actually happen, but let me kind of describe what he's planning on doing. So up there, uh, Juan is envisioning kind of building a platform that comes out, maybe putting three foot stakes down in the slope and then having again a plank and building like, not a tree house because there's no tree up there, but like a little tiny, you know, house on the hill for Aubrey to hang out in. He can put solar panels up there and have there be lights. So that may end up being a little tree house. And I was thinking it'd be really cool to have a slide coming down this hill. Obviously we're not getting a pool, uh, like a built-in pool. We are gonna have a little kiddie pool, which I will be reviewing soon. But, it, you know, if we were more of a pool family, I think it would have been really awesome to have a big slide down this hill into a pool. But again, that's not gonna happen. I'm so excited though for this bike path. You guys have no idea, like, well, maybe you do because of how I'm acting. But 
I'm just excited also like to have Aubrey on the swing set and I could push Jack around in the stroller and actually just get exercise without leaving my backyard. I might be able to walk a mile or two in my backyard and not feel so crammed. It's not like I'm just going back and forth. I can kind of change up my path and I just, I mean, my mom was over today and she was like, I want to bring my bike. I want to ride down this little slope and things like that. So I'm just, I can't wait to show you guys the final product, but I think it's worth documenting. Like this has been our life. We've had workers here all the time. I'm trying to, you know, give them drinks and stuff because it is, it's warming up. It's not so comfortable out here. Although today there's a nice breeze, even though it's warm, but yeah, I'm just, I'm enjoying the process, making memories, but I'm so excited for the end result. But we do have a few little updates inside the house and it's a little loud in here. So I'm in Aubrey's room right now and I'll do the rest of this voiceover, but Juan has added like an extra shelf in all of the closets and it's just really great for storing her old clothes or baby clothes, extra toys some of my craft supplies. In our master bedroom, we actually have like all of my seasonal decor, which I will eventually be labeling probably in a get it all done video with like Cricut cut labels for Halloween and Thanksgiving and things like that. So that is where I'm keeping all of my stuff so that Juan can have his somewhat man cave in the garage. And my our master closet is going to be part craft office area for me, given that I don't really care about having tons of extra clothes or tons of outfits, as you probably have noticed, I wear like the same thing all the time, just because I don't care. And that way more space can be devoted to my crafting supplies since we are dealing with a slightly smaller space. But like I said, let me go ahead and turn this into a voiceover as I show you the last couple tiny little updates in our house. So in our hall closet, our coat closet, I have these little like spring rods that are I think meant for towels or whatever, but I have three of them that fit the space. So I put two at the base that will hold the heel of shoes and then one to hold the front of the shoe and just kind of created my own little shoe rack. And so that really works for us. And then recently in a video, I shared how I redid our pantry. So it was originally a hot mess and I made it into something that was much more aesthetically pleasing. And I'm just really happy with the final result. The next thing that we did was we brought out some of these play mats and just kind of made a little bit more room for them in our living space. And this, this is, you know, kind of Jack's space. Eventually, hopefully, we'll have it without, uh, you know, these bright colors and it'll be more aesthetically pleasing. But, you know, for now, it is a convenient space to have him play. I do want to point out that I have no idea what the, where the goose is in the letter G. All of the other little letters, like, make sense. So if you have any idea what this is supposed to be or like what part of the goose this is let me know down below in the comments like i said before juan added this extra shelf in our master closet and it actually goes all the way around the closet space and it will hold all of my you know seasonal decor but probably some crafts as well and this is real life this is what this space actually looks like we've just kind of thrown all my crafts in there and like my pantry, I will find the time to organize it when I have some extra help. But these shelves are very tall. I am 5'9", and I'm just able to touch them on my tippy toes. But I use a step stool, and everything, you know, works out fine. I, I can get everything fairly easily. In our little towel or sheet closet, there's plenty of space for more shelves. So I'm not exactly sure exactly where we'll put them or like at what level, but I envision having another shelf or two put in this little closet. But that's it. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching today's video and checking in on how our house is becoming a home. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you guys are new here and finding my channel for the first time, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and catch all of my motherhood content. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, 
That may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.